the Blue Alliance out of scoring position. The Bees, number one ranked team, as we enter today's activities, loading up and delivering cargo. No challenges there. Flag now on blue. This one will be called on team number 33. Again, the Killer Bees. Speaking of the Bees, they stink twice in the upper hub. Eighty-two to sixty. Blue Alliance extending their lead. Red Alliance trying to get something going. Three twenty-five. Back up against the wall. Doesn't appear to be moving. That could be a problem. It now becomes an obstacle. Team Driven pushes him out of the way. Gathers up the cargo behind him. Shoots and scores. Another foul. This one again on the Blue Alliance. Looks like it was on Team Thirty-three. Those foul points can really make a difference. Every time a foul is called, four points are added to the opposing Alliance score. Coming up on the 32nd mark. This is the end game. A chance for the teams to maximize their scoring. Blue Alliance has two robots racing into their hangar and in position. Red Alliance already has one that's begun their climb. 325 still appears to be dead in the water. The engineers on the sideline trying to work out the details. Blue and Red Alliance robots are in motion. Climbing up to the traversal run. Time expires as the Killer Bees add two more points in the closing seconds of the match. Scores are in, ladies and gentlemen. Here are your results. Each alliance was able to score the quintet in the opening seconds of the autonomous period. And your winner is the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance takes the win, 158 to 111. They grabbed a hold of the lead and just kept going. All four teams on that alliance earning four ranking points. That'll keep the Killer Bees firmly in the number one position. Coming up next, qualifying match number 62. Designated first technical advisor. 